Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you the process of data moshing in Avinamux. Aviatamux? I don't know how to say it. Data moshing is the process of taking a video file and manipulating the data inside of it to create some kind of visual effect. Now to create this effect, you will need Avidamux and any other editing software that you can use to put your base video together. Avidamux is a free and open source editing software for simple cutting, filtering, and other tasks, which is why we're using it today. And I'll tell you now, this effect is so easy to make that this will probably be the easiest tutorial you see all day. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Now let's not waste any time, so let's get right into it. Now what you're gonna need first is a video with two different scenes. Here's a video of me doing a wall jump, and then here's a bit of scenery I filmed. Now the data mosh is gonna happen in between this little cut here. You can put this video together in any editing software you have, but just to be safe with the program, make sure to render it in MP4. Now open a Vitamux. Make sure it's version 2.5, other versions don't seem to work. Now once you have a Vitamux open, click on this folder button here to open the video. When you open the video, you'll get this little pop-up that says H.264 detected. Now this step is very important for the whole thing to work. Click no. And if you get another pop-up that says index is not up to date, also click no. Now when you load your video into a Vitamux, if it shows a frame from your second scene, here's what you can do to delete it. First of all, make sure you're on frame zero, then find this little A button, it should be red, and click on it. What this means is that you've now selected that as your starting frame to trim. Now press right, depending on how many frames there is of the second scene, and click the B icon. This marks the end of your trim. Then hit the delete key. Now, frame zero should be your first scene. Now we can properly begin. Go over here to the video tab where it says copy. Click on copy and make sure you select MPEG4 ASP XVID. Then you want to hit the configure tab. Then you want to find the frame tab. And down here where it says maximum iframe interval, you want to change it from 300 to a number like... Yeah, that'll do. Now you may be wondering, why are we changing the iframe interval? Well. In a standard video, there are three different types of frames. iframes, keyframes, and B-frames. iframes are the least compressed frames in a video file. They contain all the information for that scene, so that P-frames can use that data to basically wear it like a skin until the next iframe. And it's also basically the same for B-frames. If you want a better understanding, Captain This Illusion has a great video on this type of stuff. I'll link that in the description. Go to File, Save, and save video. And on default, a Vitamux saves everything in a .avi. So remember to type .avi at the end of your file name. Once it's finished encoding, click on the folder button to reopen your new footage. All right, here's a checkpoint. Press the up button on your keyboard. If it goes straight to the second scene, congrats, you're doing great. If it doesn't, and it's still in that first scene, go back a couple steps to make sure you haven't missed anything. Go back to the video icon and change it back to copy. Then press the up key so that the first frame in the second scene is selected. Press the A button to start your trim. Then press the right arrow key once to advance one frame. Then press the B button to end the trim. And finally, hit delete. Wow, wasn't that very easy? And guess what? That's it. Now all you have to do is hit file, save, and save video. And finally, do not enable smart copy. And there you have it. A simple and easy way to create the data mosh effect. Bye.